Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is to explain to you how to upload assignments. You need to open Teams. You need to be logged in. Right now I am logged in as a test student and I belong to class 1F. So it will be called as 01F. Now to upload assignments you need to go to assignments tab. You can go from various places but this is the this is the easiest one so when you go to assignments you will see a number of classes here select the class that you want to s s upload the assignment for so once you click on the class and then click on next the screen will show you what are the assignments that are due to you and what are the assignments which have already happened they are already gone Okay, what we'll do is right right now we will upload the assignment for tutorial one. So I've actually created three to three assignments for tutorial one, two, and three. So we'll just go for to upload assignment on to for tutorial one. So which is due on September thirtieth, twenty twenty at eleven fifty nine p.m. Okay, on this particular screen you also see on the right hand side that it shows that it is actually for twenty points. So all the three assignments are 20 points each. So let's open the first tutorial. What do you see on this particular tutorial? You see the assignment, the name of the assignment. You also see when it is due. You also see how many points are possible. You also read the instructions. You have already done that part. You have already downloaded the file which was attached with it. I have not actually down, uh, uploaded anything here. So you download the thing. You see the assignment. You do the assignment on paper. You click the photographs. Create PDF for, for it. And then get it ready for this. So how to create a PDF is a separate tutorial. I'll probably send you the link for that later but uh, how to add the your assignment here you will need to click on the add work icon over here okay so click on add work so when you click on add work it gives you various options as to where the your assignment is stored either it is stored on onedrive if you know what onedrive is onedrive is just like google drive where you can store uh, multiple files multiple folders and from there you can possibly take the uh, file from you can create a new file that means you can create a new file which could be a word document a powerpoint presentation or an excel spreadsheet so that means it could it could be a new document which is created i have not already created any some anything i will create the document here i will type something here and i will upload everything here now the third option is a link. The link is basically a link to a page where the data is going to come from. Okay, now the fourth option is present at the bottom and it is present, Say it says upload from this device. So click on upload from this device. It will actually show you the folders where data is existing. For example, if I go to downloads folder and probably say this is my the document that I had created or maybe this is the PDF that I had created so click on the file that you want to upload you probably have named them properly click on the file and click on open so when you click on open it will start uploading it after uploading the done button will be available and when you click on done it is now uploaded so it will actually show you the name of the file was ecertificate.pdf and that file has been uploaded here you can open the ecertificate e file and see what is in it okay all right and lastly you need to click on turn in which is present on the top right corner over there so turn in basically tells the computer tells the teacher that you have actually handed in your assignment all right the 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 file is uploaded at the moment but 
the teacher will not be able to see that you have actually handed in the assignment unless you click on turn in so when you click on turn in it will show you some play some animation for you and then button will change to undo turn in so that means your button should be actually undo turn in when you actually go back from here now your assignment has gone from here okay so that means you see only two assignments that is assignment for tutorial 2 and 3 now where is the tutorial 1 assignment gone it has gone into completed so if you go to completed it will show you assignment for tutorial 1 has been completed you find a tick on the right hand side so this means the assignment has been uploaded okay i hope this assignment was uh, is useful to you okay and if you have any problems then you could ask uh, any of our teams to help you thank you and have a nice day